Okay, guys, in Cherokee, North Carolina, trout fishing. Three great, three great holes to fish Cherokee. I'm gonna show you where they're at and how to fish them, how to get to them. Easy access, some of them. Some of them a little difficult. But we're gonna go check them out. So stay tuned in this episode of Trout Fishing in Cherokee. All right, so this one spot here, this one spot here is more of a deep water hole and you can reach it from either side. Uh, this side we're going down on is a little bit more difficult than the other side, but we right in the, we right smack in the deep water. And that's where I want to be throwing my split shot and uh, number two hook so this area right here we're gonna call this hole number one in this episode and this is where we're gonna fish now, we'll catch something that'd be good but i want you to see where you need to come okay you see uh, i'm using my old man rope and i'm gonna climb over this rail right here so i can get down there um now look I'm up in my 60s, so if I can do it, I'm sure you can do it too. <clears throat> We're going to call this difficult. But if you go on the other side, it's not too bad. So let's walk our way down. Guys, just be real careful. Making your way down. Get you some good footing. I'll tell you how I found out about this place. I first time I was down here, one of the, the locals. I watched him from the other side, and he was casting right in here, called his limit. Sitting on one of these rocks. All right. All right, I'm going to start off throwing this uh, spinner. Now, I got more than a... I brought some live bait. You come down here, start off with your spinner. You see my truck up yonder, that silver truck. Come in here in this hole, throw... A lot of times in the summertime, you'll see a bunch of kids over there. they all playing all up through here. And you got the tubers. But it being the fall, ain't a whole lot of people down here. And this is a Monday. A Monday. Not a lot of fishermen out. Time of year when everybody hunting enthusiasts out they they hunting put up the rod and reels for a while till they kill my deer like i say we're gonna call this hole number one i'm gonna show you two more for you to try now this is the quickest access down here is just to climb over that rail and get down here and, now i'm sitting on the rock i'm pretty comfortable I have come, there's a path to, right across the uh, river here. There's a walking path, and you can walk right off it down here. Okay, so I throw it a few times, I ain't got, got anything. And I'm going to put this uh, red worm out there, some live bait. I'll show you what I'm using. I bought them right out of the store. They got they got night crawlers and they got red worms. Either one of them will work. And I'm gonna take a half of a worm. I'm gonna put it on this number two hook. Cast out there and just let it drift with the current. Is anywhere close by? You're gonna grab it now. Remember using a single hook 
I ain't like that treble hook. Try to hide that hook if you can. They give you a little bit better chance of not getting hooked up on some tree limbs or something other. Now I got two split shots on here. Don't get the reusable split shot. Get the round ones. If the, you get those uh, reusable ones, they got too much of a edge on them and uh, they just don't do nothing but get you hung, hung up in the rock. All right, I'm throwing that out there. All right, I'm just going to let it go with the flow here. Let it come around. And I hope my rod tip up. And it's bouncing over these rocks through here, but this water's deep. And I don't know what trees or stuff might be in the water. It's, I mean, it's easy to get hung up on this, uh, this hook. But just let it go through the water real slow. And you'll feel him hit it. I'm throw out there again. You can use a cork doing this. I'll just deadline it and just go let it flow with the current. So on hole number one, you want to use, uh, come out here and throw off with your spinners first. And then, uh, Throw you some live bait out there and just let it go with the current. If he's in there, he's gonna grab it. And you can spend all day here fishing, just throwing and throwing and throwing. You might pick up one, but I'm telling you, if you want to be productive and catch a lot, don't spend a whole lot of time in one spot. You got to get up and move about. All right. All right, we're going to call it right here. Hole number one. Now we're going to go to hole number two. Live bait in here. And also your spinner. And use your old man rope if you're going to come off that railing that up there. Otherwise, you're going to have to go around to the uh, other side on 441. Pick up that uh, path over there and walk down here. Okay, your hole... The other hole you want to come to is Sanuk Bridge. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. All right, when you get down here, guys, you want to cross. I parked over here. Good parking. When you get down here, just cross, cross the bridge. Walk to the left. Get the end of the bridge here. There'll be a path. And uh, you want to come over here and you want to start. We, the best place to start is under the bridge and then work your way down. And all the way around that bend down there. And we're going to walk down that way. Just walk down this path. Just, I just come over that rail, walk right down through here. And you can fish under the bridge here. Fish all that up under the bridge and work your way all the way down. But I'm going to take you down here to a little other little spot that I like. A little bit hard to see the path because all these leaves but this path is pretty wore down it's easy to, to follow this thing but uh in the summertime you'll see how it's wore down when you're down here you just stay in the water and work your way down but i'm going to take a little shortcut to this place i just told you about the light you come down here, this last house. And you'll come down here and then water over on that brick wall, deep. But them fish, they love it. They love to hang up over on that thing. They just like it. You can get you some big ones in here. These cabins up here, I've stayed in them. I actually had a buddy of mine. He got out there wading on that side. Fell in a hole. Lost 
one of his rods. And I said, man, I bet I can find that thing. So the morning I got up, made coffee, come down here and look down in there and I saw his rod and got it. The water's deep now. Like I say, it's, the water's down. There's the bridge up here we crossed. We started on the bridge, worked from that bridge all the way down here to these shoals. And this is going to be spot number two. You got good parking. And I won't say it's, I ain't going to say it's easy, but I'll say it's moderate. It's a moderate place to get to. And they'll stock on that bridge. They'll throw them off on that bridge right there. And you can limit out easily. Easily. Well, the sun's trying to make its way out. I like that. It's been cloudy for the most part today. And like I say, we're in November. All these leaves. That's the only thing you have to put up with is leaves. I don't know if that I mentioned it or not, but uh, they had a one of the uh, trout hatchery uh, raceways got ruined from flooding. They lost. Uh, I was hung up on something. Uh, they lost something like thirty thousand. Their fall. Uh, the ones that we we're going to put in for the fall, they lost them. All right, I got hung up on a tree in the water. It took me some time to get that thing loose. All right. Now we throw it all down through here. But like I say, they're not stocking. And this video is about locations I want to show you. Stocking program from the website is saying they're going to start back in January. Because they got to get that hatcher straightened out. All right, guys. You know where I'm going. Next is a hole number three. So, Cherokee. Start that bridge up yonder. Work your way all the way down through here. Don't waste no time just standing there. Throw a few times, move. Okay, guys, our next place is Iconolafi Park here in Cherokee. This is a deep water hole, easy access, um, and I'm going to walk you over there to it so you can see what uh, this looks like, and we're going to try to fish it a little bit. All right, let's walk right over here. We got parking, easy access, all this parking over here. Easy to get down to. Even got some bathrooms right, right over here beside me. But uh, you could actually just throw you uh, some live bait out there and fish with it, or with a cork. If you have trouble walking, your mobility problems, then that'd be a good. That'd be a good place to come. I'm gonna come right down here. This water's deep. But I'm gonna throw some uh we got just a little bit of a current in here, but I'm gonna throw some of these red worms in there. A spit shot. Oh this place is pretty busy during the summertime. And that water is deep out there, my brother. So I'm just letting it drift. Now you can throw spinners, but if I was gonna do that, I'd go on down here toward that bridge and start throwing from this side over across that bank. Basically, just let it drift. Just let it drift in the water. So something you might want to try for easy access is 
and I would say personally I would use a cork with some live bait and just throw it out there and just let it go with that current out here all right guys that's the three spots give it a try and like any uh, place you might fish in Cherokee if they've stock and you catch it just right you can limit out try some of these easy access areas if you, you have some mobility issues and uh, some of these harder places uh, they can be a gold mine uh, because fish will get trapped up in there and nobody really wants to crawl down these rocks and get down there to them and you can you can really you can limit out in them places like that but they're just hard to get to so these three places work them throw some comments in there if you catch any fish off of them um, best of luck to you when you go and if you uh, ain't a subscriber to this channel hit that subscribe button I got I do trips several times a year to Cherokee and a lot of my my videos is showing you some locations then I got some it's just plain old fishing where I'm catching them until next time, God bless all of you and have a great week. See you later.